Wrestling has shaped me to be who I am. I used to practice on little dolls as a kid. You know, I had wrestling shoes before I could even walk. I was the number one kid in the country at 182 pounds. Another takedown there by Sebastian. The uh, five years I spent at Northwestern were great outside of the injuries. The beginning of my senior year of high school, I had a shoulder injury, and each year after that, I, I kind of experienced something along the lines of a season-ending injury. And there's the first shot of the match taken by Labriola, and he gets the takedown. I was just frustrated that my hard work and everything that I put into the sport, I wasn't seeing results. An escape from Mikey Labriola, and now looking to put Johnny Sebastian on his back. I just felt that it was possibly time to hang it up. When I was on spring break, I turned on the TV, and it was right before me and my girlfriend were going out to dinner, and the NCAA championships magically uh, appeared on. And I don't know if that was a sign or, or whatnot, but uh, needless to say, we were late to dinner because I spent a lot of time watching the NCAA championships, and I just felt like there was something missing. You know, if I didn't pursue that extra year of eligibility, you know, 10, 15, you know, 20 years down the road, I don't think I would be able to live with myself. I had both my shoulders fixed up and talked to some of the doctors and, you know, they said if I approached it properly and trained, you know, smarter, that I would have, you know, five, six more months left in me. I reached out to the coaches and uh, said I, you know, I had interest in entering the transfer portal and, you know, the rest is history. I just wanted another opportunity and whatever happens, happens and I'm going to prepare myself to, to give myself the best opportunity for one more year. At the end of the day, I had a great experience at Northwestern. I was fortunate enough to get two great degrees. Um, most people can't say they get one, so you know, I was able to get two there. Arguably top 15 you know, undergrad institution and then I had a master's from you know, top five business school there. You know, when Coach Reeder and Coach Bono reached out to me, uh, something just felt right. I asked Reeder, I said, when's he coming? He said, Wednesday. I said, let's get him here Tuesday. I don't know what it's going to take, but I want this guy in our program. Let's, let's get it done. Go! Work hard here! Johnny's been a blessing in disguise. I've, uh, I didn't know Johnny until we got him here, and he's, he's, he's been unbelievable. This kid wants a chance to compete. He wants a chance to get this last degree. He's going to raise the level in the wrestling room. Uh, he's going to raise the level academically, uh, and, and he's going to raise the level socially. I said, it's, it's a no-brainer. This is what we want. Just kind of the swagger that the coaches and everyone on the team brings to the table, uh, you know, I, I thought was going to be great for me. I feed off of the energy, and that's something that I always have, and I, I think that's the New Jersey in me, you know. Most people don't really come back after five shoulder surgeries um, unless uh, there's a reason, right? And my reasoning behind coming back is to get on top of the podium. Get yourselves ready! Get yourselves ready! I like to surround myself with people uh, that make me better. How can this guy makes me better when I'm around him, and um, it makes me see uh, things in a different way. Johnny's got a plan. He's got a plan how to, you know go to school, he's got a plan how to rehab his injuries, he's got a plan how to practice, he's got a plan and that uh, a guy with a plan is dangerous.